Hello all, good afternoon. Uh, April 21st in Rockford, Illinois. Cold, rainy day. And I hope April showers bring May flowers. Okay, but I'm here today to talk to you a little bit along the lines of brain fitness. Actually, this is what I want to talk about today is uh, uh, what Simon Evans and Paul Berghardt write about in their book, Brain Fit for Life, uh, about omega-3s and the value that omega-3s have for neurons. Um, turns out that one of the things that we need omega-3s for, which typically we get from uh, the long chain, DHEA, DHA, uh, omega-3s, we get from uh, cold water, deep ocean going fish. Um, one of the things that uh, we derive benefits from omega-3s is uh, flexible neurons. If you don't have enough negative Omega-3s, uh, <laughs> you actually have uh, rigid neurons. So if somebody calls you a hardhead, they may just be saying, go eat some more fish. But I didn't know that, so it's interesting. Uh, I don't particularly care for fish. Um, the taste of it, and certainly not the cooking of it or the cleaning up of it. I just don't like the smell of it. So I'm not going to eat fish. I haven't eaten it for years, decades even. Uh, very seldom do I eat fish. So I'm going to have to get my omega-3s if the primary source of the long chain, although you can get them from some plant foods, the shorter chain kind of omega-3s, body can't process, can't create them, okay? Uh, it's got to get them from outside their essential minerals and vitamins then. I have to eat them in order for my body to have them available. There are also omega-3s and omega-6s, very important for the immune system. The omega-6s that we get a lot of from corn oil, for example, are very important in firing up the immune system. The omega-3s balance it or tamp it. So we need a mixture of the two so the immune system is functioning the way it needs to. I certainly don't want my immune system firing up and uh, attacking the insides of my sinus cavities, which is what it's doing, I think, today because of the cold, rainy weather. Um, at any rate, omega-3s can come from supplements. I'm not going to get them from fish. I can get them from flaxseed or the precursors, if you will, from flaxseed and uh, certain vegetables. Um, and my body can waste about 95% of those shorter chain omega-3s trying to create the long chain. Or I can take some supplements. Now, I tried these uh, several years ago, about 10 years ago, and just over-the-counter supplements, and I had these uh, sort of painful and very fish oily smelling, fishy smelling burps. So I quit taking them, and uh, that's not the case anymore with the over-the-counter kind of supplement. But I cannot, there's something that I need to determine in regards to the refining of omega-3s that I can't always determine from, uh, from an over-the-counter product. Uh, so I may go to Extend Life for my omega-3s. Well, not may go to, I have gone to Extend Life for my omega-3 supplements because they come from a fish from New Zealand and they provide documentation of the refinement. Now, you get fish, uh, one of the reasons I don't like to eat fish is because of mercury. Uh, I don't need to fill my 61-year-old body with mercury and the oceans and the fish in the oceans are pretty polluted now. So even though you're getting some uh, supplements, uh, your omega-3s from fish, uh, you're getting some mercury too. And if you can't check the refining of the omega-3 supplement you get at your local pharmacy or drugstore or grocery store or GNC store, you can't tell for sure that the mercury and the other pollutants in the ocean have been refined out of the fish oil. So I don't need to take those anymore. So, you know, those mercury, I don't need heavy metal. So I'm, I want to be able to check the refinement. Of it. And you can do that with Extend Life. Uh, you can do it on the website and on the package. Okay, so I think they're an excellent product in that regard. Okay, so what else do Paul Evans and, uh, I'm sorry, Simon Evans and Paul Burkhardt say about omega-3s, okay? They say we take too much omega-6s in our diet. Okay, uh, besides eye tissue and sperm, uh, brain tissue has the highest concentrate of omega-3 
of any cell in the body. In fact, the lining of neurons is made out of fat. So it's very important for electrical transmissions, the EEG in the brain, and the, neurochem the neurotransmitters moving from across synapses that the, um, the coding of neurons be flexible and open and omega-3s make that happen. So it is a very important piece of having brain fitness. I can do all the brain fitness exercises and workouts I want, and if my neurons are not able to accept electrical transmissions and uh, synapses, uh, I'm not going to think very well. So the role of omega-3s is vital to uh, brain fitness. Uh, get them from supplements. If you don't like fish, uh, make sure you get them every day. Thank you very much. Mike Logan, AskMikeTheCounselor2.com. Cold and rainy April. Could be mowing soon, though. Thanks.